What's up guys, Tactical Recon here with a video back again here and today I've got actually a very interesting topic that I think you guys will actually love and enjoy and as for today's topic, I'm going to be posing a question that a lot of us gamers actually do need to care about and uh, lots of people have been asking if this is actually true or if this is actually happening and the question for today guys is do video game developers care about the community in any way possible now this question has become increasingly popular due to some actions taken by some developers in the recent installments uh, into some of the most iconic franchises Battlefield 4, Titanfall, Halo 4 and of course Call of Duty Ghost so I'm actually going to be asking you guys as well do game developers care about the community or do they care about anything they say? Please leave your comment in the comment section below with your thoughts so we can have an epic debate down there. Uh, so let's get down to this right away. Now to start off this video with my own opinion on the whole topic that we're going to be discussing today, uh, I believe that there are some video game developers that do actually care about the community and take their thoughts uh, and problems into consideration while other developers simply do not do this. Now in this video I will use examples to back up my discussion I also plan to bring out some facts and details as I compare a great game developer to a not so great game developer. You might have guessed it, yes we're going to be using DICE versus Infinity Ward as these are the two perfect examples for this uh, sort of topic right here. Now as a starting point we're going to be looking at DICE's point of view of the whole situation here, whether they're a great game developer or they're not. Now we do not know whether DICE is actually the good guy within this topic so let's have a look at what they've responded uh, towards the community. Now we know that it launched Battlefield 4 was not a flawless game at all, in fact it, won, it was one of the most buggiest games I've ever played. Uh, but anyways DICE decided to take uh, some action into this and stop all future projects and uh, fix problems within the game which in fact cut some of EA's revenue as a result. Now I think that EA probably deserved that since they actually forced DICE into releasing an unfinished game. But hey, at least the game is almost polished at this moment. Now at the course of that time, let's look at some of the things that DICE have actually managed to fix within the game. Now they have fixed the following. The first one which is the lag and hit detection. Uh, it has improved greatly since the launch day of Battlefield 4. There are a little bit of problems still occurring within the hit detection in Battlefield 4, but this does not affect snipers in any way, so um, I don't think this is anything that's that major but it still needs a little bit of tweaking there but it's almost there which is a great thing at some point the dedicated service for Battlefield 4 actually went down for like a week or something like that and people were unable to play the game we also had some glitches that were fixed within the game uh, the spawn point issues uh, those are still to be worked on but uh, they're much better than they are actually at this moment and we also had some connectivity issues which were fixed and uh, some multiplayer bugs within the game as well now there are a lot more problems that were actually found in Battlefield 4 and were fixed by DICE uh, but if I were to talk about those it would probably spend me, uh, actually take me the entire night of me uh, actually just talking about the fixes because there are a lot more fixes that went into this game which is a pretty good job by DICE right there uh, and even though Battlefield 4 had a bad launch the community still has faith in, uh, in DICE at this moment because they know that they're trying their best uh, to actually get the game working at its best. Now as for me that looks like a great game developer as they're actually trying to do something about the game and they're actually trying to fix it which is something that is pretty cool and I hope they can continue to fix that. Speaking of a great game developer, DICE is releasing high performance servers for the game as we speak uh, to be released sometime uh, within the next few weeks uh, on all available platforms for Battlefield 4 so uh, just expect that I'll be giving you guys news on that. With all this said, you are most likely wondering what is an example of a game developer that takes no note of the community. Uh, well, yep, you probably guessed it, Infinity Ward. Now at this moment you may be thinking, oh hang on a minute, you must be biased because you do gameplays on a Battlefield 4. No, this is not the case with the help of our evidence that I'll be presenting to you guys right now as we speak. Now first off, Call of Duty Ghost is one of the most unstable FPS games in terms of the multiplayer. On current gen consoles, 9 out of 10 lobbies you will join are actually hacked or under the influence of lag switches. Now let me take you back just a few months ago when actually uh, I believe Mark Rubin or whatever his name was stated that there will be dedicated servers for every single platform. If you don't understand what I'm saying here, lag switching is not possible on dedicated servers. Now there may be dedicated servers 
for the Xbox One, this I know that is because Microsoft is actually giving them for free to the developers that are developing uh, games that have multiple access on them. Activision probably use these because hey, they will not lose anything from using free servers, which is one of the reasons why they are even dedicated servers on the Xbox One. I'm not sure about the PS4, but they most likely are, but I've heard that they are not dedicated servers on the PC as well because Activision and Infinity War do not care about the PC whatsoever. Now, I wouldn't be getting lag switched uh, within a game that actually has dedicated service on it. So that is already something that they have already lied to the community about saying that there will be dedicated service for every single platform for this game. Now, let me also remind you of another lie by Activision right here and Infinity Ward, which is that they stated that quickscoping is actually gone from Call of Duty Ghosts. Yet quickscoping is still here and I still do it most of the time because it's a way for a sniper to play aggressively within a game which I think is absolutely fantastic and I use this most of the time. So I don't even know what they were saying when when they were saying that actually quickscoping is gone from the game yet it's still there so I don't really understand that. Now there's also poor hit detection and this still exists in the game since Call of Duty 4. Lag in this game is still at its greatest extent and happens with great internet access, but what do they do about this? Take a look at this video right here. They try to fix a broken game by bringing in the weed camo. Yes, that's right. They're calling it the weed camo, but actually, as you can see on the screen here, they're calling it the blunt force, which I do not understand. So you're telling me that these guys are trying to fix the game uh, with problems with dedicated servers which do not exist and uh, some problems with hit detections and lag by bringing in the weed camo now i don't i don't know about you guys but this doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever and i think that activision is just trying to get away with it uh, instead of actually fixing the game they're bringing in useless dlcs that no one would actually use now speaking of useless dlcs <laughs> Uh, you would actually like to hear this one. They believe the community don't want a better hit detection and don't want a better spawn system or whatever it's called. But what they do actually believe is that the players want more useless DLC. And get this straight guys, they're even making people pay for this useless DLC and they're calling this new DLC the voice actors DLC which sound absolutely terrible rather than actually fixing the game. Now I wonder what is next from these guys, This is this the eye color DLC or something like that worth 19 euros? I wouldn't be surprised if they actually pulled off something like this in Call of Duty Ghosts. Since they're more worried about getting money from this game rather than just fixing the game which will be working in favor of the community and the community will actually thank you for fixing a game uh, like this. Now going back to the blunt force camo actually known as the weed camo, it seems like they're catering to they're trying to cater to more people uh, such as drug dealers. I don't know what they're trying to do here, trying to keep the numbers up since uh, some of you guys may not know this but Call of Duty Ghosts is having on a daily basis less than 19,000 players which is uh, usually bad for the Call of Duty players since I believe Black Ops 2 at this moment has something about uh, 18,000 and it came out like two years ago or something like that which is pretty impressive for a game like that. Now this photograph that you're actually sitting here as you can see I actually made this myself and it's poorly made because I made this within five minutes and uh, what, what this is actually trying to say here is that the devs at Infinity World are probably all wearing sunglasses indoors because the amount of cash that they have is blinding them at this moment. Now what is even more hilarious about this is that they've got weed written all over their foreheads. Now if you didn't watch their, their trailer on this voice actors this is what the video basically said in english without all the gimmicks or all the words they're using to try and actually sell their useless product so here this this is basically what it said hey i'm chrissy live from infinity world studios getting this money with our 24th downloadable bs content hashtag stoner on the bottom right of the screen right there which is basically what just happened within that video all the other details within the video were completely irrelevant and on top of that the voices that they're actually introducing into the game do not fit the style of Call of Duty Ghost, so I don't think they even know what they're doing at this point. Now even the BS meter as you can see here on the screen as well is actually going crazy at this point because it knows that this is just too much they're doing here with Call of Duty Ghost. They're trying to get as much money out of this as they possibly could before their franchise actually dies out. Now I cannot believe Infinity War does not attend its problems in the game but decides to make more money with their worthless DLC. Now not a single patch has been released or maybe a single proper patch 
has been released for this game not a single proper patch i i tell you guys now one thing they've ever patched in in this game was some glitch that no one even knew about and we just knew about it just recently and you know it wasn't really much of a much of a help there's still a lot of problems within this game now at this point some of the actions taken by infinity world make absolutely no sense to me and is one of the reasons why I believe this is one of the worst game developers so far. Now this is the new uh, Infinity Ward, not the old Infinity Ward. The old Infinity Ward are great guys there, uh, the Respawn Entertainment who worked on Titanfall which was a fantastic game and one of the best uh, multiplayer games and was the best selling game on the Xbox One so I think that was pretty cool there and is pretty epic uh, as a franchise and I cannot wait for more uh, details on that. Now since Infinity Ward is actually bringing in their own voices and their own styles within Call of Duty with the voice packs, how about I add my own voice into this game? So take a look. Search and rescue. To continue the voice, please deposit 90 more euros within the next 24 hours or else your pack will be deleted from your system and we will keep the cash for you. Now voice not included within this purchase so please purchase it again. And please hurry up and give us more money because we are Activision and uh, Infinity Ward here. Now we cannot always blame the developer for what is going on within the community uh, for a video game. Now I also blame the community of Call of Duty players because some of these players just don't support the team in any way like they do in Battlefield 4. Now this is one of the fan mails I received from a fellow Call of Duty player uh, while actually trying to join their camping clan. So have a listen to this. Like we're not a camping clan, you dumbass. We rush around every time. Fuck off. Who took you out there in the castle? You guys were camping in the castle all the time. So, huh? And the last kill cam, me and my mate take, took you out both. Now, from that voicemail, or actually my fan mail I received from my dearest fan here on YouTube. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised that Infinity Ward is actually not caring about the game anymore because the community is just full of guys like this playing the game. They don't support the teammates, they're actually camping in corners because, hey, in Call of Duty, you camp to get the kills and you camp to win it. What is actually funny about this is, is that if you actually camp it out, you get more kills than if you run around because the maps are so huge and they're like two players within the whole entire map. The maps are the size of San Francisco and we've got two people trying to find each other and uh, you know that could be a complete disaster in a game like this. Now why do I think about this is that Infinity Ward need to actually step it up because this is getting absolutely ridiculous with their map packs. They're going to be releasing even more map packs, maybe the eye color DLC or, or the skin color DLC. Or maybe even introduce the height DLC for those who want to become taller or shorter within the game, which will be used of course for cheating because if you're shorter there's a smaller hitbox. Now speaking of hitboxes, those are also broken because some of the times I actually completely miss my shots but I end up getting him so that's that's a good thing for me but sometimes when you're caught in such a situation like this it's not even a good thing. I truly do believe that Infinite Ward have to fix this because this is getting out of hand. They need to get back into the game here and prove that they're a real developer rather than just uh, throwing out some lame content or whatever it is. Now, Infinity Ward is still bringing in some character um, customization or actually character uh, implementations or DLCs into the game, which I think is completely useless within COD because, I mean, I do not believe that in COD people actually look at you and say, hey, that's a pretty nice armor or anything like that. I don't think that ever happens. The only thing that even happens is that if you use a ghillie suit that, that is very tactical because you can camp in the back of the map with an IED, which is the combination between a C4 and a Claymore, which is one of the worst things I've ever seen in a game and is purely made for camping and is pretty much effective against anyone who tries to come up behind you and kill you, uh, which is one of the problems that we will be seeing here in uh, Call of Duty. So why do I believe after all of this? I believe that Activision and Infinity Ward have to stop with the lame DLCs and just fix the game for some of the good gamers' sake here. Uh, not all Call of Duty players are the same. There are some really nice ones I've played with a couple of awesome teammates in Call of Duty, uh, which is very rare at, at its best. So, uh, But th at this moment, they still need to fix their game because it's... It's in a state where it's unplayable because every lobby you join in is completely hacked. We've got people who jump uh, like 500 meters above the air and are completely invincible. 
which is simply unfair towards other people but they haven't fixed this and get this straight guys the game was actually hacked before it came out which sounds absolutely impossible but it did happen because some of the hackers got the game early you know just to show off and, and say that hey i'm the best hacker within the game and actually hack the game uh, so the game was actually hacked before it was even launched properly so whenever you joined the game it was already hacked so it was completely unfair for most people and the hackers are also not even afraid to say hey i'm a hacker they're even posting videos on youtube uh, and posting it even on their forums on callofduty.com saying hey guys i've got a free hack for you come and get it or you can pay to 20 000 microsoft points for this free hack that makes you invincible in call of duty ghosts and they're still doing nothing about it because simply they do not care about the community at this point and all they care about is the money as that photo i just showed you just spoke of so that was it for today folks this has been tactical recon here i hope you enjoyed my latest video here with a little quick discussion on uh, call of duty ghosts uh and actually infinity ward versus dice and i hope you enjoy that be sure to leave a like if you did and leave a comment on what you actually think about this guys because this is one of the things getting out of hand with call of duty and infinity ward they're just posting ridiculous content on dlcs that no one actually wants to buy and I just think it's absolutely ridiculous what they're doing here and they should focus more on fixing the game rather than releasing the same rehashed DLC and they're even re releasing some of the maps that they've remaked from the past which is just bad enough so I think they should go back and fix that and I believe that they should actually go back and fix Call of Duty Ghosts before the next one launches and guess what guys the next Call of Duty or Call of Duty 2014 is already around the corner so the Activision and uh, Infinity Ward never gets tired of, of this uh, and I think that this is just getting absolutely ridiculous and they need to take more time within development for their video games. So that was it for today folks. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video here. I hope it was fantastic to you. I truly had an awesome experience making this video for you guys and I think I should make this something like this into a series if you guys would actually like to see this. So that was it for today folks. This has been Tactical Recon here. Until then, Wapa out.